So, uh, I have a bit of a story to tell you, but first, I guess I should introduce the episode and get on with it so I'm not sitting here on this screen for about 20 minutes. How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. Last time, we completed the D-Line, and we began the E-Line. And as you see, my map looks a little bit different compared to the end of the last episode. That's because I tried recording this episode a few hours ago, and during that time, it was raining, not really too hard, enough where it wouldn't really be noticeable on the commentary, it'd be me kind of... Especially after editing and everything, the commentary would be pretty much non-audible. Well, as it turns out, about eight minutes into my recording after I completed this level, which is why it was circled in, well, the rain started getting harder, and uh, then it got hard enough to the point where it knocked out my power for a split second, and of course, it was just enough to where the recording would have been affected. So now, I'm here again, playing Squeegee Funk, and god do I hate this level. This is honestly probably the worst level I have with luck in terms of this game. Okay, so now I need to defeat this Octarian again, and I'm honestly so sick of this level, I'm not even talking about all of the different options you could use. Quite frankly, I'm not really enthused right now with this level, or the next level, which... I need to record because that's where uh, my power went out, and that's not very fun. Alright, so, we need to ride the squeegees, and these Octo Snipers also hit these little turnstiles, which is amazing. I love how they hit those switches. Uh, hello? Squeegee? Would you please come over here where, you know, there's ink behind you? Sweetheart, hello? Okay, apparently you don't want to come play with me today. Oh, now that I turn around, of course you do. Okay. So, I'm gonna run these guys over, because that's how- oh, never mind, okay, we just did that, no problem. Alright, let's make our way over here, because we need to destroy these guys. Please, there we go, destroyed you fairly simply. And now, let's wait, please, let's hit you, thank you! Okay, that worked out a lot simpler than I thought it would. So, of course, we need to destroy Octarians in order to move on, but we also need to use the ink switches in combination with the squeegees and the bouncy pads in order to continue advancing through. And now we have to deal with ink pistons. Especially rotating ink pistons! Oh, isn't this gonna be fun? Uh, there is an armor piece down through that grate if you follow it, but I am not going to because I don't really need to. You can even see the box right there. Uh, I'm gonna get hit. I didn't get hit. I'm very surprised. Let's not move forward until I actually have enough substance to move. There we go. I almost got knocked off because of the momentum. Uh, in the background here, I think it's supposed to represent that Flippy Cup game that was very popular in like the 70s, I think? I don't know when that game was popularized. I wasn't around in the 70s or the 80s, I was a 90s kid, so uh, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we are at the final checkpoint now, and I've been here way too many times that I feel like I don't even need to say anything anymore, because it's honestly very repetitive, at least on my end. Can you come over here, squeegee? Oh, we need to use these launch platforms on these final squeegees in order to get to the ending. And I made it on my first try. Okay, that's usually very difficult, but somehow I was able to do it. I never lost a life, and I'm never using a burst bomb on this level. Again, I made that mistake once in Octo Expansion Versus. I'm always gonna use the Rapid Blaster every single time. And hopefully I never have to play that level again because we are moving on to Hyper Color Station, where we need to activate the switches to get to the goal. This is an interesting mechanical level. Interesting mechanical level, yeah, I guess that works. So, we have two different weapons that we can choose from. We have the recommended sploosh matic which... I guess works? And then we have the Splat Roller with a Splat Bomb, which I find to be a little helpful, so... Even though the reward is 200 CQ points less, I think I'm gonna go with the Splat Roller. Alright, let's hop in, 
and see the beautiful Game & Watches up close, but first I have to activate the switch. So, the switch mechanic. You have to hit the switches in order to advance. You need to make it your color. In this case, pinkish, like salmon pink, and not green. And you're going to be doing that a lot. Oh, look at those Game & Watches up close. It's even like real-time boundary break. Please get on this game. Please. I wonder how many requests he's gotten for uh, Octo Expansion. Probably a lot, I would imagine. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's, oh, uh, I should have probably waited. Yeah, I should have waited, okay. So we need to wait for the switch to be active. There we go. We can actually swim up now, not let that wall consume us. Oh boy, that's a little hard. Okay, make our way over here. Activate the switch, okay. Need to get you, we need to trick you into shooting over here. That works, come on. And make sure they don't activate the switches so we can walk straight into the launch pad. Very, very nice. All right, now we need to ink the switches over here. Please and thank you. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Come on, where are you? Come on. Oh, that activated, didn't it? Oh, dang it. Okay. You can hit me, that's fine. You can you can hit me, that's cool. I just need to get up here. Get up here before it splats me. Oh my god. Okay. We actually are in a perfect position, really, because we need to make sure that we're tall enough on this one to reach the launch pad on the taller uh, ink... Uh, uh, what, what are their names? I forget. Flutters, Flutters, yeah, that's their name. Anyway, here, we need to activate these switches before the things turn. Oh my god, that was really close. Okay, make our way up here again, as that platform's gonna rotate, but that doesn't really matter. Now we're at the final checkpoint, and this part is really, really cool. Because we get to splat little Octo Stamps and deal with this giant Octo Stamp, which is kind of manufactured by the Octarian Menace. Right. Hit these. Obviously, we're gonna need to pay a little close attention because we're gonna need to keep splatting the ones that he splats as well. All right, we can actually do a lot of damage here. Just keep going over here, here. Oh God, I have no ink. Oh, you're coming this way. Oh, that's unfortunate. Get you. Okay, I can actually do these again. Uh. Okay, splat these. Be a little careful, splat his back. That's nice. Don't activate, please turn, turn around. Thank you. Splat those. How did you see me? That's, uh, that was weird. Splat this, splat that, splat this, that, this. Splat those. Careful. Careful, please turn around. Please. Please turn around. You don't see me. There's no way you could possibly know that I'm right here. Thank you. Good lord. Splat that. I need to splat this one. How do, how do they always know I'm right there? Why don't they go to where the bomb is? That's so stupid. Go to where the bomb is. Leave me alone. Alright, bring the platform down. And that could go up if you get hit. But hey, look, you get some CQ point power eggs if you do. So it's not all too bad. Alright, put together our pen. And complete the test. Pass the test, whatever you want to call it. This is the first time I was able to have the opportunity to pass this test in a few hours, so I'm fairly happy. I could I could really go for completing more tests, though. All right, so we completed Hypercolor Station, and now we move on to a level I unlocked many hours ago thanks to a failed recording. Crate Buster Station. Bust all the crates before the time runs out. This one is really cool because it allows you to use different weapons. You have two brushes and a charger weapon. But the real cool thing, or you can use a splat bomb, obviously, but the real cool thing is what's involved in it inside. And you have some SNES games, it's so cool, but you're also timed, so I can't really look at the background. So, these orange crates here, they have splashdowns in them, and it's pretty likely that you're gonna wanna use them. All right, hit as many of the brushes as possible. And now we're gonna need this, thank you. Come on, 
Oh, I'm, I have a wink. No. Blah. All right, we're going to need to activate this. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I had, like, no seconds left. I wasn't... I thought I wasn't going to do that. Also, Ghostbusters reference. Another one. There was another one earlier. I don't know how I pulled that off. I thought I had a wrong pattern going. But somehow I was able to do it. I got it. And I'm perfectly content with that. Uh, Bodacious Rotacious Station. Collect all eight data points. This is a really cool level, but I think I'm going to save it because... I think I'm going to go for this thing, but first we need to go to the heinous eight ball station where we need to guide the eight ball once again to the goal. Only a single one though this time, so it's been a while since we had a solo escort mission, but it's time to do it again. And this one isn't all that great. All right, the recommended one is mini splatling, 200 CQ point difference doesn't make a deal to me, so let's just go ahead and hop in. And you can see... I guess, are those supposed to be open paint cans? I'm not entirely sure. All right, we need to use the splatling and to toss the eight ball over the edge. And now we need to destroy these enemies because if they touch the eight ball, then all things are bad and that would be very bad. Okay, uh, don't hurt my eight ball, please. Go after me, thank you. Yes, go after the guy that is pretty much on death's doorstep. All right, get the eight ball across the furler because we also need to do that. Oh, God, oh wait, no, we're good. We are good. All right, we need to hit this, hit the balloon fish, and now hit the eight ball across. Is it gonna make it in time? Yes, the eight ball will make it. I don't know if I will. Okay, I'm gonna make it in time, good. All right, so now we have the obvious eight ball switch things. Oh God, please go inside the eight ball switch thing. Oh no, the eight ball fell. Okay, we hit the checkpoint though, so it's not all too bad, and it actually puts me right in front of it, and it has a straight pathway. That's actually very good. All right, we need to hit the eight ball up, but first I want to ink that wall. Because, you know, it'll be beneficial if I ink the wall so I can get up there and follow it. All right, put that out there. It's something really cool you can do. Let me push that in front of that. Hit the eight ball over this way. Very nice. Not bad at all. Also, how did I survive that? I probably should have not survived that. All right, I'm going to need to ink this wall, and actually, you're going to need to get out of there, so... Oh, okay, you can't fall there. That's good. Okay. I was a little scared that the eight ball had a chance to fall through that hole. All right, you head over there, because I need to do this. Now, this is a little tedious in terms of what you can eight ball fall. Wait. Oh my god, I'm still good. Also, it's hilarious seeing the eight ball just hit the furler like that. I thought I just screwed myself royally, but we are good, and something cool we can do is actually let the 8-ball fall this time, because my splatling was still going! What I wanted to do- oh my god, it puts me all the way back here, I never hit a checkpoint, that's right, oh my god. Okay, this is a lot more punishing than I remembered. Alright, you go that way please, thank you. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I can't really mention that until I get back over there. Oh god. 8-Ball, are you okay? Okay, 8-Ball's fine, and it actually destroyed the enemy this time. Very nice. Alright, you, you go over there. Please get into the hole, thank you. Okay, so, you weren't actually that put that far back. What you can do is you can have the 8-Ball fall back down. Alright, great, cool. Uh, okay, note to self, don't charge that up a lot this time. Just charge it up a little to hit the... Okay, all right, this time we are good. The furler will bring the eight ball to us. That's what I wanted to show off. Thankfully, I hit this checkpoint because if I didn't hit that checkpoint just now, I would have been screaming. All right, wait, hit, and let the eight ball go all the way down because I didn't time it right. That's okay. We got to pretty much the ending, so we should be okay. What we need to do Hit the eight ball down, have it do its thing. Wait. Hit it now. Thank you, okay. Oh, just in time. All right, that's gonna keep going all the way like this. It's gonna keep activating that as well, so there should be nothing to worry about except for when you fall off the edge on your own will and accord. That's fun. Okay. Hit this again. Wait. Hit it. Okay, we're good. Go over here, with our mini splatling this time, hopefully not fall off the edge. 
Because what we need to do is we need to uh, get hit by the 8-ball. Yes, that's great and cool and awesome. Hit the 8-ball over there. Oh my god. Okay. That worked out a lot better than I thought it would. I thought I would lose another life compared to that. Alright, but now we're at the ending. And here with the ending, now we need to follow the 8-ball all the way through here and keep shooting it. Yeah. We need to keep shooting the 8-ball and moving it forward. It's, uh... Honestly, not that great, if I'm gonna be honest. Alright. Just... Oh, what? Please, hit that. Alright. We're, we're close. Uh... We're, we're oh so close. We got it. We got it. We got it. We just need to hit you here, please. Thank you. All right. Hit the eight ball out of there. It's no longer hitting the switches. Get it out of the corner. And I think I'm lined up with it. Yes, I am. Hit it into the switch in almost kind of a first person mode because I was so close to the wall that the camera had no idea what to do with me. You passed the test. Exciting stuff. So now we have the test right before the thang. Oh, I really want to go grab the thang right now, but I should probably do this level. Uh, I really want to grab the thang. I want to grab it so bad. You know what? I'm going to grab the thang. Let's go to Don't Ralph Station. <laughs> Don't Ralph Station. Spin your way to the goal. This one we thankfully only have one wep uh, weapon option on. But, I mean, I'm not gonna 100% complete this game and get it with all the different weapons and everything, because I don't want to torture myself more than I already am. Alright, we have uh, whirly Doos in the background, or fans or something like that. I don't exactly know what I'm doing here. Alright, but we do... Well, I know kind of what I'm doing. I need to spin to the goal, so I need to hit this and get myself a platform to go on. Okay. Make our way up. Hit you, because I don't want to deal with you. Hit this. Uh, do I need to spin that again, actually? I don't think I do. Uh, oh my god. Okay, I got hit, but that's okay. I can preserve myself. I'm okay right here. I'm fine. Uh, actually, I need to spin that once, don't I? Oh no, that doesn't spin that. Oh yeah, because I need to ink this to get up there and then do it. Okay. Uh, grab this armor, because armor is great, except when you fall off the edge and you don't press the jump button. But thankfully, we did just hit a checkpoint. So, uh, we're good. We're good. Alright. Jump this time. Thank you. Okay. So, actually, you can speedrun this also, kind of. Uh, you just need to be able to hit that platform and then climb up. Uh, hang on. Can I hit this from here? No, I cannot. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I'll just show it the other way. So if we toss a, if we launch a missile over that way, we're able to have that activate, and then we can just jump to the platform ourselves, except when you fail the jump. Yeah, lots of lives are gonna be lost to this level, I feel like. Lots and lots of continues are coming up. Okay, ink this, because we're gonna need to ride that. All right, hit this. Hit that. Okay. Please. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, it's so bad. This part is of the level is so bad. All right. Well, we have a fresh new set of lives to go for. It's like I'm the Doctor. Doctor Who. Okay, except I don't have 13 or 14 lives, depending on who you ask. I have only three. All right. Let's try it again. Spin. Activate. Wait for that to go through. Spin. Okay. This time I'm gonna ink like everything. Uh, and I didn't. I said I was gonna think uh, ink everything and then I didn't. And the part where I was technically jumping to didn't have any ink on it. So that's fun. Um, I mean, it wouldn't really be worth it to do this, would it? Not really, not at all. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I mean, if I was a professional speedrunner that knew all the tricks and how they worked, yeah, but no. Also, no. Okay. Wait for this. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. I should have done this from the beginning. I'm just gonna spin the platform again, right? 
Okay, let that do its magic. Now that I'm out of there, spin. Spin again. Spin again. And I messed up. Okay, I needed to do it the other way. So spin here. Spin here. This is how we do it. Okay. Wait. I'm going to spend so much time on this level alone. All right, spin. Okay. Now, jump. Thank you. Okay, that's what I was trying to do like five lives ago. Oh, God, I almost just walked off the edge. Oh, my God, that would have been so bad. Okay. Need to use this switch in order to bring... You can see it in the background. You need to bring this over to knock over the Octarians. And now you, we have a place to stand, except we don't because I need to do that. Okay, there we go. Now we have a place to stand. All right, cool. So, uh, that doesn't rotate back, I think. Uh, but we're going to need to rotate it ourselves because otherwise we wouldn't be able to make that jump. And I'm not trying to be a daredevil today. Even more of a daredevil than I kind of already am right now. All right, make our way over to this next checkpoint whenever it wants to show up, please. Oh, another thing where we need to spin. Okay, oh, well, we reached the final checkpoint. I got my wish. All right, it's another one of these puzzles, so we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to do this in an orderly fashion. Except, I can make that jump, actually. Uh, can I get that to hit the switch? I can probably get that from here. I think I can get that from here. Oh, if I get this from here, I am a god gamer. Please? Oh, no, it's not gonna do it. Dang it. Oh, I should've won. All right, swim. Oh, God. Swim up. All right, that's officially doing that. Oh, boy, that was a little dicey. Okay, we made it. I'm just gonna go to the ending. I don't really care about all the schematics. I'm just putting my pen together, and I am calling <laughs> it a day. All right, so we finished, don't, I still can't, don't Ralph Station. It's probably a reference I don't get, but it's still funny to me. I don't know. All right, so now we have access to the Thang level. This will be our third Thang, and we also have new entries in the chat log. I've been waiting for one of those. Let's go into the surrounding Thangs, Bust and Run Station. Once again, only a splatter shot in order to guide us along the way as we reach the surrounding Fang. Is it just me, or does this kind of resemble a blender? Cutscene's still adorable. Mad props, my dog. You have found the third thing. This is, there is just one more to find. The promised land awaits. Do not slang not found yourself. Wonder why we haven't found Agent 3 yet. Should I put up a missing agent poster? Good idea. Give me a second. How's this? Nailed it, right? Uh, that's not it. Mm hmm, well then, how about this? Yeah, I think that's it. Let's see, what were some of Agent 3's other features? So, we get to build our own Agent 3 again from Splatoon 1. And it's basically now just a matter of filling in all the details. And at the bottom, have you seen this boy? Yep, no doubt about it. That's Agent 3. Ooh, okay, I'm all done. Should be easier to notice if I put it here. All right, Cap'n, let's head back on the train. Hopefully we get some information about the whereabouts of Agent 3 soon. I mean, we don't want him to go turning evil or anything. All right, so that is going to do it for this episode of Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. 
Next time, we will finish off the E-Line with the last three or so levels that are there, and we will probably begin the F-Line. So, thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later. I'll be back! You've got your caps lock key on again, old man. I'll be back. I... DJ Hyperfresh has joined the chat room. What's going on, Pearl? Just trying to teach an old squid new tricks. Cap here was typing in all caps again. That makes sense. You've got a knack for teaching. What do you mean? How do I make music notes? Just click the smiley face to bring up the emoji panel. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> Remember when we first met, Pearl? I had just come to the surface, and I didn't understand Angopolis at all. You taught me everything I needed to know. L-O-L, -L, yeah! I remember thinking you were some country bumpkin when we first met on Mount Nantai. I went to Mount Nantai every day for a week, just hoping you would show up again. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were a stalker. I remember you singing when I showed up, and then out of nowhere, you were like, let's start a band. I just had a feeling about you. I guess it worked out, because look at us now. I mean, that first song you showed me was Fire, so I had to say yes. Actually, I think I have the file on my desktop. One sec. Boom! Haha, <laughs> yes! I haven't heard this in forever! This is the demo version of Ebb and Flow! How do I make question marks? You still here? The question mark should be in the bottom right of your keyboard. Knock yourself out. LOL. Marina, I just remembered you made that entire demo using that half-busted keyboard you had. But somehow, the hook was still dope. Couldn't have done it without you. And that ridiculous recording studio you have in your house. Those old school drum machines are legit. Yeah, what am I even typing? We were saying we could tell the track was bumpin'. Try to keep up, Cap. Cap. I think maybe he's just... Oh, never mind. Sorry about him. I was shocked the first time I heard you rap. I thought you were for sure gonna be whack, to be honest. But once you started spitting, I was like, dang, this munchkin got bars. <laughs> Shut up. Never underestimate the Pearl. MK AKA MC Reverse Psychology. AKA MC Danger Noodle. What the hell are you guys talking about? She's the DJ. I'm the rapper is what I'm saying, Cap. What don't you get about this? Anyway, I know we talk a lot of smack on the show and all, but I wanted to say thanks for everything.